Hey, welcome to another Bump by video and my name is Art. Um, today we have another manga reading episode and manga reading means basically identifying cards in manga. And uh, today is Initial D, first volume by Tokyo Pop. And this is the American version of Initial D. That's the uh, version that I've got. Um, yeah, it, it might be slightly different than the Japanese version. I haven't been able to see any differences between the Japanese and the American version. However, uh, yeah, this one uh, stretches from chapter 1 to 10 and the chapters are slightly different ordered than in the Japanese version, but you won't notice that in this manga reading. So the purpose of manga reading is basically identifying cars here. I have already done two videos prior to this with uh, The Walking Man. And uh, yeah, today is Initial D by Seguchi Shigeno. So let's get started with a reading. Uh, on the first page we can immediately see the A86. The A86 has, uh, well you know, uh, the, the fog lights, the kumi in front of it. Remember that those fog lights are there because if we then flip to the splash page you can see immediately that there are no fog lights on this A86. I don't know why, but maybe uh, Suguchi Shigeno forgot to draw these because this was like the early drawings of the A86 and maybe he uh, oh, wasn't that used to it yet. Um, part behind the A86 is a Nissan Sunny Van B11. That's basically the workhorse by Nissan for uh, late 80s, early 90s. Now, flipping the pages we can see that we see Mount Akina, Gunma Prefecture, Japan. So Akina is basically Mount Hakone. Um, and we can see the A86 being introduced here as a drift machine. And this is really, really nice. Uh, nice intro. Then we get to S-City Gunma Prefecture. S-City is basically Shibukawa City. And Shibukawa City is the city where Shiguchi Shigeno lived in back in those days. I'm, I'm not sure if he still lives there, but yeah, basically that's where the tofu store is located. Well, in this picture we can uh, see one car in the, in the front and that's uh, a Toyota Carina ED200. Uh, the car is uh, basically on the same floor pan as the Celica T200. And it also meant that there was a 2000 GT four wheel drive version available, but it had the SGE, uh, three SGE non-turbo version. Uh, the car is really styled after the Mark II X90. Then we get introduced to uh, the main characters of this manga. Uh, that's basically Takumi, uh, Itsuki, and then Natsuki. And, uh, well, they talk a little bit about uh, buying a car. Uh, then we get to the page where we have to identify a couple of cars and some of car the cars can't be identified. Uh, one of the cars that I could identify is on the far right. That's the Toyota Corolla A100 wagon. Um, and then uh, on the left side of that same picture is a Toyota Carina. And this Carina is basically from the generation that I really love, the A60 generation. Maybe it's a A63, like the, the 4 AGE version. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's difficult to tell. In this picture you can see uh, a couple of things like the traffic light and the building right behind that. And that's being used throughout this manga quite a lot. And so, some of the other pictures are also being reused many, many times. Advancing one more page we have another guest picture. And in this picture on the far left we can see a Mitsubishi Minica Dangan ZZ. It's one of those mini pocket rockets uh, and um, yeah, Mitsubishi made them uh, in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, then next to that, that's a Toyota Scepter, also known as the Camry. It's the XV10 and it's basically a spin-off of the original Camry but the U.S. found the Camry a little bit too small, so uh, Toyota created a slightly larger and wider version of it, and they called it the Scepter, and also sold it in Japan. Uh, then right behind the Scepter, that's the last car I can identify, that's either a Land Cruiser uh, J80 or a Nissan Patrol Y60. Not entirely sure, but it's like the, the, the second door that does it. Uh, then we can see here on the left side uh, the same picture being reused of the previous page, uh, but only a slight bit. 
Uh, advancing one more, we can see the Mercedes-Benz 190E W201. The 201 is uh, being driven by uh, this uh, elderly gentleman that has some sort of relationship with Natsuki. Spoiler alert, by the way. <laughs> Uh, advancing one more page, we get into uh, quite a difficult one. Um, at the top, we can see the bends, and then uh, in front of the bends, that's some sort of, uh, oh, I don't know, four-wheel drive, but I can't really make out which one it is. And then at the bottom, we can see a van, and that's probably a Mazda Bongo, seeing the shape. This picture is also used a couple of times in this manga, and then we can make out a bit more which one it is. Uh, the car up front, that's uh, probably either a Mitsubishi Chariot or a Mitsubishi Lancer uh, C10 or also the Mirage. Mirage was the Japanese name. Um, going further on, we can see an S13. And this S13 is, uh, well, it's basically Ikedani Sylvia and it's a case version and we know that because it's uh, it, it does have the case aero kit it's got uh, ssr mark ii r wheels and uh, that basically means that they are a racing version of the ssr mark ii um yeah not too much knowledge on this car but it's probably a 1988 version so that means it's got like the ca118 uh, sorry the ca18 det engine in it so not the sr20 uh, more gas station uh, footage uh, you can see more of the same cars here um, and then we have a lot of pages of the gas station Storyline, Takumi whacking someone in the face, awesome. Um, and we end up at a picture where we have a couple of cars arriving. And those are the cars by the Akina Speedstars. So we have the Nissan Silvia S13 in this picture on the left. Uh, we've got right behind that a Honda Civic EG and then a Nissan 180SX. And the uh, 180SX is owned by Kenji. It's a 1989 model, it's white, and it's also got the ca 18 dt It's, by the way, a Type 2, and not a Type 01. So then we have here two Mazda RX-7s, or at least we know them as the Mazda RX-7. Uh, we have a Mazda Anthony RX-7 Type R Type A FD3S. It's a Series 7 model, so that's 1996. It's brand spanking new. Uh, it's in competition Mica Yellow uh, and it's got a 13 BREW engine. Right behind that, that's the Mazda Savannah RX7 Infiny 2 FC3S. It's a 99 model, uh, crystal white, Workmeister S1 rims uh, and it's got a 13 BT. And I know this specs because it's on the uh, Wikipedia page of Initial D, or not the Wikipedia, the Wikimedia page. Um, yeah, more of those RX-7s, not many other cars to identify, advancing once more. And then we end up at a scene where a lot of cars are leaving. So we have the RX-7s here and right up front of the RX-7s we also have a Nissan Silvia S14. That's Kenta's uh, Q's Silvia. So this one is one step down from Ikatani's Silvia, but it's a newer model. It's an orange SR20DE uh, and it says that it has Primax 333 wheels. Um, then at the bottom we have the 180SX and right behind the 180SX we have a Toyota Starlet GT Turbo EP82. And uh, yeah, this is a really an awesome car and Daniel O'Grady did a video about that and please check, do check that out. Um, it's a small pocket rocket. Uh, the car behind that, I can't identify that one. More pages, drifting, drifting, drifting. I'll skip those, even though it's the most <laughs> enjoyable part of uh, the manga, but it, basically too many spoilers. A lot of drifting, a lot of drifting, a lot of drifting. We're only interested in, uh, in uh, the cars. Um, yeah, and then we get to uh, the part where uh, we have a couple of pictures and, or the scenery of the 
the city that it is located in and you can see those stairs going up that's really one of the highlights of this city and uh, i've included a picture right here um, then we have another picture here uh, it, it, it looks like it's not drawn but actually a photocopied photo and you can make out probably a Mitsubishi Minicab 3rd gen or a Subaru Suba excuse me a Subaru Sambar 4th generation A86 Ikitani figuring out where Takumi lives uh, and here we have another scene with another car and this car is a Nissan Patrol 4th generation and I'm quite positive about this one on the next page we have uh, two cars that we can try to identify but one of them is uh, well uh, it's quite difficult because there isn't that much to go for then the one at the bottom um, I'm not sure about that one it looks like Corona T140 or Cresta X60 or Soar Z10 the Soar Z10 never had these black bumpers so I can rule that one out um, but it's like the typical Toyota shape but because we're lacking the other parts of the car or the other the, the back part of the car we cannot identify it positively as either the corona or the uh, cresta a lot of work you can do on your car okay and then we have another page that's interesting we see obviously uh, the gas station again with yet again the same cars as previous time so the, this is another reused picture um, and then at the bottom we have a, a very big surprise that's quite clearly an A86 so apparently someone at the gas station already owned the A86 there who did that I think this is just an error by uh, Siguchi uh, on the other side of the page we have another interesting car that's a Mitsubishi Gallant VR4 E39A it's the obligation model and it's also considered as the Lancer Evo Zero. Um, Daniel O'Grady by Wasabi Cars did a very nice video about this type of uh, gallant and, and just check it out, it's just amazing. He saw a couple of them in the wild and uh, yeah, it's a truly amazing car. Many, many, many more pages that we can skip. And not many cars that we can identify and then we end up at the scene where uh, Ikitani is trying really hard to to push his car around Mount Akina and then almost runs into this Mitsubishi Pajero V20 that's the second generation of the Pajero uh, it's a short wheelbase car um, not a long wheelbase version of this car um, also, funny note on the Pajero, if you are from a Spanish country, uh, they never sold the Pajero in Spain. And uh, that's because it's actually pronounced Pajero, and Pajero means dick. So, not suitable for work, this video. Anyway, okay, and then we have something interesting. Uh, apparently, uh, Ikitani doesn't bring his car to his own garage and fix it. He brings it to a Nissan a sunny dealership and uh, they're fixing it over there and uh, behind the dealership there are a couple of cars and uh, one of the vans in the back looks like a Subaru Sambar or Mitsubishi Minicab um, but I can't be sure about it because this is a Nissan dealership uh, but it doesn't look anything like Nissan made and then we can see another picture that is being reused yet again. This is the same picture as the one with the uh, Carina Coupe and the Corolla Wagon. And they have made the sky completely pitch black because it's at night. Uh, but the other things in the picture are actually at broad daylight. So this doesn't make sense, but you can see they reuse a lot of these pictures over and over again. Uh, more 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 uh, skipping 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 another picture that's being reused uh, yet another one the uh, city hall district pass over with the Camry um, and then here we have an interesting one that's a Nissan Skyline GTR uh, this is BNR 32 so it's uh, relatively new back in those days advancing more one more page we can see uh, Kenta's S14 
And then we have an Celica SS1 ST202. And this 202 is not a GT4, it's probably just a 3 SGE version. Um, but I think it's one of the Red Suns uh, guys. We're almost done with this manga. And um, you can see that with, uh, uh, with all these stickies that I've put on it. Uh, uh, on the top of Mount Athena or Haruna, it's a Nissan Homey. E24. Uh, this is also one of the most frequently used uh, vans in Japan. The, the Homey is a bit larger van and it's mostly used as a uh, uh, well, people hauler. Um, so this is probably the wagon variant. And then we have a lot of things going on. And finally we have a Nissan Skyline GTR V-Spec 2 it's the one owned by Takashi Nakazato, and Nakazato is called Zack here. Um, it's a 1994 uh, version of the Nissan Skyline, and as far as I have could seen, he uses Workmeister S1 rims on this car. All right, and that's the end of this manga. I hope you really enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing this. And what I really enjoy is just going through all these mangas, flipping pages, finding the cars, identifying them, and then finding out that I'm wrong, and then correcting that again. And uh, yeah, if you have any manga you would like to see covered in the next episode, let me know in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I mean, the planning is Restore Garage 251 as uh, the next one. And uh, yeah, otherwise I'll uh, listen to what you have for me in store. Thank you for watching again and see you next time.